Assalamualaikum and greeting everyone. Welcome to my final year project presentation. I am Shian Benti Rosli, a final year student in Bachelor of Science Honor Applied Chemistry. The title of my FYP is a review on bioactive compounds and antioxidant activity evaluation of hibiscus subdarifolin extract. I'm supervised by my lecturer Puan Nur Hafizah Benti Uyu. Now, let's start with the background of study. Hibiscus subdarifa is a plant which commonly known as roselle. Previous research has shown that phytochemicals and anthocyanins from roselle contains good antioxidant properties. Many studies have been conducted to support the theory that antioxidant nutrients preserve human health. Skincare products currently represent billions of euros in the cosmetic industry. Usually, the marketing of a skincare product requires a skin beneficial effect such as anti-aging and antioxidant properties achieved by an active ingredient. Research on hibiscus subdarifa, which consists of antioxidant and bioactive compounds that can be used in skincare products to preserve the skin, is very important. There are five discussion which are what is hibiscus subdarifa and how it can be used in industry, what are the nutritional composition of hibiscus subdarifa l extract, what are the potential bioactive compounds that are present in hibiscus subdarifa l extract, what are the extraction methods used for extraction, and what are the methods to determine the antioxidant activity of hibiscus subdarifa l extract. The objective of study are to review the phytochemistry and therapeutic uses of hibiscus subtarifa L extract attributable to its nutritional composition and bioactive compound. Secondly is to identify the extraction method of hibiscus subtarifa L and third one is to determine the antioxidant activity using several in vitro antioxidant assay. Let me explain to you about the botanical description of hibiscus subtarifa. If hibiscus subdarifa is a medicinal plant, which also known as roselle in English, Asam Susur in Malaysia, and Kakarde in Saudi Arabia, many parts of the hibiscus subdarifa plant, including the seeds, leaves, fruits, and roots, are used in a variety of industries, including foods, medical, and cosmetics. Next, we move to the application of hibiscus subdarifa. According to Han, roselle are often utilized in manufacturing of non-alcoholic soft drinks such as wine, juice, and jelly. According to Islam, tea made from roselle consists of many health benefits and highly valued as an organic product. Roselle also used in many medicines. According to Lancon and Mcolo, it is used to treat constipation, heart disease, high blood pressure, cancer, diabetes, urinary tract infection, and nerve disorders. Han mentioned that roselle leaves are used for their antibacterial, diuretic, and sedative. Hibiscus subtarifa also involved in the pharmaceutical and cosmetic industry. Based on research from Aduse, antioxidants play important roles in reducing inflammation, slowing aging, and also preventing cancer. According to Islam, the physical and chemical properties of roselle seed oil can be used in cosmetic industry. Let's move on to the nutritional composition of hibiscus subdarifa. According to Yakubu, there are 7.7 to 9.86% of protein, 9.33% to 11% of fiber, and 22.67 to 37.67% of carbohydrate in roselle extract. In another finding by Shorty, there was iron around 164.78 mg over kg. Meanwhile, Rias and Chopra mentioned that 30 3.9% of dietary fiber can be found in the rosa extract. The bioactive compound of hibiscus subdarifalin from Jabir revealed that they are anthocyanins, flavonoids, organic acid, polysaccharide, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial. Shruti and Crystal Patel revealed that flavonoids such as hibiscitrin and hibiscitin are found in the rosa. They also mentioned that there are alkaloids, galactose, pectin, quercetin, saponins, triterpenoids, and sterol in the plant extract. As you can see here, there are four extraction methods of hibiscus subdarifa plant. But firstly, is maceration extraction method. According to Hapsari, using water as a solvent resulting in an extract of phenolic acid and flavonoid. Second extraction method is microwave assisted extraction. Pimentel Laura mentioned that there was hydrocytric acid, hibiscus acid from rosa extract, which ranging from 41.72 to 156.12 mg over G. Another research from Yusuf and Liu, there was 9.644 9 to 17.9055 
and G, GAE over G of total phenolic content. The third extraction method is ultrasound assisted extraction method. Based on previous study from Pinella, the extraction yield was 14.38 until 56.21%. Meanwhile, from Hapsari, when 80% methanol was used as a solvent, it gave result of flavonoids, anthocyanin, and organic acid. The last extraction method is supercritical fluid extraction. According to Hapsari, there was 113 mg GAE over G of phenolic compounds in Rosal extract. This slide will explain to you the anti-oxidant activity of hibiscus subdarifa plant. Based on research by Samadhi and Raul Fart, they were anti-cholesterol and anti-diabetic in Rosal extract. Shruti and Ramachandra mentioned that 66% of total extractable poly polyphenolic compounds have shown to have a high antioxidant potential. They also mentioned that antisanins and protachytic acid are chemical components that show to have strong acid antioxidant. According to Rias and Chopra, there were two major and two minor antioxidant components which were delphinidine 3 sambobiosine cinidine 3 sambobiosine and delphinidine 3 glucoside cinidine 3 glucoside now, let's continue with the evolution of antioxidant activity. Firstly, is DPPH assay. In this assay, there is IC50 value, which is defined as the concentration of the extract necessary for 50% radical scavenging. Based on favorite study from Wolf, IC50 value was 4.06 mg per milliliter. Meanwhile, Jensen mentioned that the IC50 value of rosal extract was 11.80 mg per milliliter. Secondly, is ferric reducing antioxidant power assay or known as FRAP. According to Wu, rosal extract showed good ferric iron lowering antioxidant capacity, which was 33.9827 mg troy equivalent per 1,100 gram samples. Thirdly, is total phenolic content. Based on study from Pombalang, FC reagent assay can be used to determine total phenolic content. Half study revealed that there was 0.78 to 291.78 mg GAE over G of to total phenolic content in Rosal. Meanwhile, we will reveal that there was 683.13 mg GAE over G in dehydrated Rosal extract. Next is total flavonoid content. Shra mentioned that aluminum chloride colorimetric assay can be used as complexing agent in order to identify DFC. A study from Hapsari showed that there was 0.1805 to 22.6 mg QE over G of DFC in Rosa extract. Next is total saponin content. It is a method based on vanillin sulfuric acid colorimetric reaction by RDC. According to Gorel, saponins from Roselle have anti-cancer, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. Last but not least is total alkaloid content. It has been reported in a study by RDC that alkaloids which from Roselle extract are consist of many pharmacological activity such as antihypertensive and anti-cancer properties. In conclusion, hibiscus subdarifalin extract contains bioactive compounds and antioxidants with therapeutic properties which can be used in industry, especially in cosmetic. Greener techniques such as microwave assisted extraction, ultrasound assisted extraction, and supercritical fluid extraction are better than maceration methods since the methods can reduce the time. It is recommended to do more research on the bioactive compounds and antioxidants of Roselle extract since it can benefit the human society. Supercritical fluid extraction should be applied more in the future research as it is free from hazardous solvent and reduce the time. That's all from me. Thank you and have a good day.